I'm going to install the FlexLM Manager from step A all the way to Z. Perhaps I can shed some light on why ASC is having some problems. I'm going to take the same link that I provided to ASC and I'm going to connect to our FTP server and now I'm going to save it and now I'm going to open it with WinZip these are all the 64-bit items I'm going to take this one I don't need the license file this one this one and this one and I'm going to copy them into the directory I created this is the same directory used by ASC uh, now I'm going to create a license file. We're going to get rid of this. This is just a sample we send. I'm going to copy and paste that from my email. And let's make this port 1702. We're going to change this. D colon. We have to use forward slash. Okay, so we'll save this. Now before I go any farther, make sure my environment variable is set correctly. Artwork license file. I've set it to 1702 at ASMSC44, which is the name of this license server machine. Which you can see if you go to system properties, you'll see this is ASMSC44. Now we'll configure this using LM tools. And the first thing I want to check is to make sure that my host ID is correct, which it is. That's the host ID for my computer here. The second thing I do is go to Utilities and list all vendor paths and you can see that it sees the artwork and it sees 1702 at ASMSC44. Now we're going to go to Config Services and you can see I already have the Cadence license server running and I'm going to create a new service. So I'm going to call this new service Artwork. Browse to this directory. I'm going to select the LMGRD. Now it says Path to the License File and path to the debug file dot text there okay now this is the wrong dat file if I try to start this now I should get an error because right now I'm using the ASC information so let's just see what happens use services and start server at power up okay and now I save the service okay this doesn't start the service you have to go over here to start the service and click start you can see the log file was created and has something in it. So let's see what it says there. See, it didn't like this because the server name I put in doesn't match my server name. So now let's modify this and see what happens when we put the correct information in. The first thing is that my server name is ASMSC44. This doesn't change any. My license codes have to be matched to my computer. And my host ID is that. Save that. So I just ran server status and you can see that it's not very happy with this guy, right? Now the message is giving you is that it can't connect, but that's because it's not running. So let's see if we can uh, fix this up and click start server again. And this time we see successful. So let's see what the log file has to say. You can see what time I did this on Monday, approximately nine o'clock in the morning. And it reread the license file with the correct information now. It tells you what version of the LMGRD is running, x64, okay, and it started on my computer. And it tells you that it's listening on port 1702. And now it starts the vendor daemons. And here it starts the artwork daemon. So that's good. And here it tells you the product ACS5II is the Gerber View code. And it tells you this is the port that the Gerber View daemon is talking back to the application on. So it worked perfectly, and I should be able to get a license now. So I'll double click on Gerber View, and you can see that I got a license. If we go to Help and About, it'll show you that I'm getting a FlexLM license from ASMSC44. If we go back to this log file and reopen it, there we can see that it checked out the license. What are these other features here? Well, Gerber View is able to get a license from a number of other products. So it's actually going through a list of products until it finds one where it can check out the license. This is not actually any problem. It's just the way that the program is designed to determine what features might be licensed. 511 is the one that we generate a license for, and 511 is the one that got checked out. If we close Gerber View, and then we look at the log file again. Here we can see that the file was checked back in. So it's available again. So that's showing that it actually works. Now what's going on with ASC? I cannot say because I don't have all the information. 
but I verified you can download the license file and get it to run and you should be getting a log file.